That would be obnoxious if there were Roman numerals on the phone. What's your phone number? Oh, it's I X V I I I I I I I I I. Edward Reed's Buddhist Books Podcast, episode 142, Tipitaka, part 77, in which I will recite Pakitiya, part 86. Our special guest today, Shunya. It, of course, has been a guest on this program before. Anyway, sorry I was gone for a few days. I uh, just thought I'd real quick, you know, publish another book. Uh, the Multiverse Cartographer just decided, should I put it here? I'll put it over here. That's better. Uh, that's our special guest today. Um, of course, I don't have a physical copy of it yet because it just came out uh, yesterday. Um, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, I'll mention it again when I have a physical copy in my hand and I can show it to you. But for now, um, shall we get to the reading? Our other special guest, Incense, more than usual. You can see where the light is coming in from over there. At least it's not shining through the bars and making patterns on my face again like it was. Hope everybody's doing well. I will now get to the reading. This is Expiation Pakitiya 86. At one time, the Enlightened One, the Lord, was staying among the Sakyans at Kapilavatu in the Banyan Monastery. Now at that time, monks were invited by a certain ivory worker, saying, quote, if the masters want a needle case, I, parentheses, can supply them, and parentheses, with a needle case, end quote. Then the monks asked for many needle cases. They asked for large needle cases for those who had small needle cases. They asked for small needle cases for those who had large needle cases. Then that ivory worker making many needle cases for the monks, was not able to make other goods for sale. He did not keep himself going, and his wife and children suffered. What about the elephants? Isn't anybody going to speak up for the elephants? People, three dots, spread it about, saying, quote, How can these recluses, sons of the Sakins, support the ivory trade? No, sorry, I'm about... 2,500-ish years um, ahead of, uh, of 6th century BC. Sorry, I'll, I'll stick to the reading. <clears throat> Stop interjecting my personal politics. And, no, okay, so back to the quote. What the, what the monks are saying. People, not the monks yet. People, three dots, spread it about, saying, quote, How can these recluses... Sons of the Sakyans, not knowing moderation, ask for many needle cases. This, parentheses, man, end parentheses, at least it's not quotes, making many needle cases for these, parentheses, monks, end parentheses, it'd be more fun if it was quotes, wouldn't it, uh, is not able to make other goods for sale. Three dots. And his wife and children suffer. End quote. Nothing about the elephants. Monks heard these people who, three dots, spread it about. Those who were modest monks, three dots, spread it about, saying, quote, How can these monks, 
Not knowing moderation, ask for many needle cases, end quote, three dots. Quote, is it true? As is said, monks, that monks, not knowing moderation, ask for many needle cases. End quote, it is true, Lord. That having been in quotes, the enlightened one, the Lord, rebuked them, saying, quote, how can you monks, not knowing moderation, ask for many needle cases? It is not, foolish men, for pleasing those who are not, parentheses, yet, close parentheses, pleased, three dots. And thus, monks, this rule of training should be set forth. Whatever monk should have a needle case made that is made of bone or made of ivory, or made of horn, there is an offense of expiation involving breaking up. What? End quote. What? What? These are rules of expiation, right? Breaking up. All right, I'll keep reading because now I'm really curious. What the heck? So, okay. So they're not to have, I, I agree with Lord Buddha about this. Do not have uh, a needle case made that is made of bone or ivory or made of horn. Or I'll break up with you, maybe. That's what he's saying. No, that would mean parajika, right? Whatever means. All right, let's do the flashback. Whatever means. He who, on account of his relations, on account of his social standing, on account of his name, on account of his clan, on account of his morals, on account of his dwelling, on account of his field of activity, in parentheses, an elder or a novice or one of middle standing, this is called whatever. That's always fun, that flashback. Okay. Uh, monk means flashback. He is a monk because he is a beggar for alms, a monk because he submits to wandering for alms, a monk because he is one who wears the patchwork cloth, a monk by the designation, parentheses, of others, and parentheses, a monk on account of his knowledge, <clears throat> excuse me, on account of his acknowledgement, a monk is called, quote, come, monk, and parentheses. A monk is endowed with going to the three refugees. A monk is auspicious. A monk is the essential. A monk is a learner. A monk is an adept. A monk means one who is endowed with harmony for the order. The, with the resolution at which the motion is put three times and then followed by the decision with actions, parentheses, in accordance with Dhamma and the discipline, and parentheses. With steadfastness, with attributes of a man perfected. Whatever monk is endowed with harmony for the order, with the resolution at which the motion is put three times, and then followed by the decision with actions, parentheses, in accordance with Dhamma and the discipline. I think that's implied, right? Maybe that's what they're saying. Okay, end parentheses. With steadfastness, okay, actions, like not just any old action, like actions that are, anyway. With steadfastness and the attributes of a man perfected, this one is a monk as understood in meaning, in this meaning. Okay. Okay. Bone means whatever is bone. This stuff. Uh, ivory means it is called elephant ivory. It's elephant tusks for those who don't know. Horn means whatever is horn. Like horns, animals have horns, you know. Should have made means. If he makes it or causes it to be made, in the action there is an offense of wrongdoing. Having broken it up on acquisition, an offense of expiation is to be confessed. What? If what was incompletely executed by himself, he has finished by himself. There is an offense of expiation. If he makes others finish what was incompletely executed by himself, there is an offense of expiation or 
an offense of sanganisesa followed by an offense of parajika, depending on what we're talking about, right? Um, yes. If what was incompletely executed by others, he finishes by himself, there is an offense of expiation. If he makes others finish what was incompletely executed by others, there is an offense of expiation. If he makes it or causes it to be made for another, there is an offense of wrongdoing. If having acquired what was made for another, he makes use of it, there is an offense of wrongdoing. There is no offense if it is a block, firewood, a buckle, a box for ointment, a stick to put the ointment on with, the handle of an adze, a towel, if he is mad, if he is the first wrongdoer. The footnote for ads, A-D-Z-E, says, Vasijata. So that's the ancient Pali word for the perhaps 1930s recognizable English word ads. Perhaps I'm just not very well uh, informed about these things. A D Z E. Look that one up, Edward. I think that came up once before, didn't it? Anyway, the fourth, meaning of course the 86th, because things are confusing now. And they never did said the expiation involving breaking up. Breaking up. So you get bone needles and you break them up. Maybe comment below or write to me if you have any idea what the what the breaking up is maybe the the needles are made in a way where they're stuck together and you break them up if you take them home and you say okay you break one of the bone needles off or one of the ivory needles off from the others then it's an offensive expiation involving breaking up ah, wow it doesn't explain all right, so I guess uh, I guess we'll never know. Expiation, Pakitya, eighty-seven. At one time, the enlightened one, the Lord, was staying at Savati in the Jetta Grove in Anatta Pindika's monastery. Now, at that time, the venerable Upananda. Remember him. Loves robes, has issues with his brother's cellmate, and a bit of a temper. The son of the Sakyans was laying down on a high couch. Then the Lord, as he was touring the lodgings together with several monks, came up to the dwelling place of the venerable Upananda, the son of the Sakyans. The Venerable Upananda, the son of the Sakyans, saw the Lord coming from afar, and seeing him, he spoke thus to the Lord, quote, Lord, let the Lord come, let him lie down on my bed, end quote. Then the Lord, having turned back from there, addressed the monks, saying, quote, Monks, the foolish man should be spoken to about his abode. End quote. Then the Lord, having in many a figure rebuked the venerable Ananda, the son of the Sakyans, for his difficulty in maintaining himself, three dots. Quote, three dots. And thus, monks, this rule of training should be set forth. When a new couch or chair is being made for a monk, the legs should be made eight finger breadths, foot, double that, parentheses high, and parentheses, according to the accepted finger breadth. So don't find someone with huge fingers and then except for the notched ends below. In exceeding this, parentheses, measure, and parentheses, 
there is an offense involving cutting down. All right, breaking up, cutting down. I think these are going to be in the key. All right. New means it is so called with reference to the making. Couch means there are four parentheses kinds of close parentheses. Couch, a long one, one with slats, one with curved legs, one with removable legs. Chair means there are four parentheses kinds of close parentheses chair, a long one. One with slats, one with curved legs, one with removable legs. Is being made means making or causing to be made. The legs should be made eight finger breadths, parentheses high, close parentheses, according to the accepted finger breadth, except for the notched ends below, means... Setting aside the notched ends below, if he makes it or causes it to be made exceeding this parentheses measure and parentheses, in the business there is an offense of wrongdoing. Having cut it down on acquisition, an offense of expiation is to be confessed. If what was incompletely executed by himself, he has finished by himself. See Pakitia 86. End parentheses. Thank you, Miss Horner. Three dots. If he makes others finish what was incompletely executed by others, there is an offense of expiation. If he makes it or causes it to be made for another, there is an offense of wrongdoing. If, having acquired what was made for another, he makes use of it, there is an offense of wrongdoing. There is no offense if he makes it to the parentheses proper, close parentheses measure. If he makes it less than the parentheses proper, close parentheses measure. If having acquired what was made for another, parentheses bought, close parentheses exceeding the parentheses proper, close parentheses measure. Having cut it down, he makes use of it. If he is mad, if he is the first wrongdoer. The fifth, meaning the 87. So this chair upon which I am currently seated uh, is not, shall we say, kosher, according to the standards of the Theravadan monk, or the original Buddhist monk. All right, fair enough. I mean, it's sort of a modern chair. My Zafu is over yonder, as they say. Um, I'll read one more, even though the title is going to be a little bit cluttered with all of these Roman numerals. Expiation. Pakitia. L-X-X-X-V-I-I-I. Da, 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 da. Sort of a Christmas thing. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas. So that's uh, 88. It's easier with the Indian numerals that came to be known as Arabic numerals because... Arabic mathematicians used the Indian numerals and they were closer to Europe, so Europe ended up calling them Arabic numerals. Numerals, you know, the ones one, two, three, four. We use them every day. Usually every day. I know I do. They're even on the phone, you know, those numbers you don't. Never mind. At one time. That would be obnoxious if there were Roman numerals on the phone. What's your phone number? Oh, it's IX. V I I I I I I I I I. Can you imagine? All right. At one time, the enlightened one, the Lord, was staying at Savati in the Jetta Grove in Anatta Pindika's monastery. Now, at that time, the group of six monks had a couch and a chair made with covered with cotton. People 
having seen parentheses this close parentheses as they were touring the dwelling places looked down upon criticized spread it about saying quote how can the recluses sons of the sockins have a couch and a chair made covered with cotton it's more of a polyester some kind of petroleum product online like householders who enjoy pleasures of the senses mm, cotton seeds end quote monks heard these people who three dots spread it about those who were modest monks three dots spread it about saying quote how can this group of six monks have a couch and a chair made covered with cotton end quote quote is it true as is said that you monks have a couch and a chair made covered with cotton end quote it is true wow they've been practicing <clears throat> the enlightened one, the Lord, rebuked them, saying, quote, How can you foolish men have a couch and a chair made covered with cotton? It is not foolish men for the pleasing of those who are not, parentheses, yet close parentheses, please, three dots. And thus, monks, this rule of training should be set forth. Whatever monk having a couch or a chair made covered with cotton, there is an offense of expiation involving tearing off, end quote. I think for these last uh, 12 or 13 or however many rules, um, it's just getting silly. Breaking up, cutting down, tearing off. All right, whatever means, monk means, couch means there are four kinds of couch. Kinds of was in parentheses. Three dots. Chair means there are four parentheses kinds of close parentheses chair. Three dots. One with removable legs. Cotton means there are three parentheses kinds of close parentheses cotton. Oh, we're actually going to learn something today. Cotton from trees. Cotton from creepers. Cotton from grass. That's the one I'm familiar with, I think. Should have made means if he makes parentheses it, close parentheses, or causes it to be made in the business, there is an offense of wrongdoing. Having torn it off on acquisition, an offense of expiation has to be confessed. If what was incompletely executed by himself, he has finished by himself. Three dots. If he makes others finish what was incompletely finished by others, there is an offense of expiation. If he makes it or causes it to be made for another, there is an offense of wrongdoing. If having acquired what was made for another, he makes use of it, there is an offense of wrongdoing. There is no offense if it is for a binding, for a girdle, for a shoulder strap, for a bag for carrying the bowl in, for a water strainer, if he is making a squatting mat, if having acquired what was made for another, having torn it off, he makes use of it. Hmm. Loophole. Um, if he is mad, if he is the first wrongdoer. The sixth meaning, the 88th. So here's what you do. You go to the cotton guy, right? And you say, hey, there's this householder Bob, and he would like a uh, covering for his seat. And then it's made for another. And then you make use of it. That's one of the exceptions, right? And then if anybody says anything, you just say you're mad. I'm the loophole guy. That's what they call me. No, not really. Um, special thanks to Upananda and the six naughty monks, and of course, Lord Buddha for um, for your presence here today. 
Special thanks to you for going on this journey with me. Breaking up, tearing down, cutting off, was it? Well, anyway, we'll find out when we get to the key in a few episodes. That was 88, so all we've got left is 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. Five more of these expiation rules. And then we'll be done with the expiation rules, and we'll be on to another set of probably even more than 93 rules until we finish the rules. That's what we're here for. Okay, well, um, again, thank you, and uh, I will go ahead. Oh, by the way, by the way, if you're watching me on YouTube, if you wouldn't mind just taking a, a really quick moment and uh, liking the video, subscribing to the Edward Reeb YouTube channel. That's it. You can hit the bell if you want. That's optional. But uh, I would, if, you, if you watched it all the way through, that's just all I would ask. And then now we're even. I'm just being silly. Cheers. I will go ahead and close. To the north and to the south, to the east and to the west, to the spirits of light among us and to the spirits below, we send out our reverent love and compassion. May all beings be happy. May all beings be serene. May all beings be in peace. Until next time.